Just a quick note before we start the show, in this episode I review a Mac application called Cactus. Cactus is an application that promises a better way to hand code websites. Now the developers for this application, Cactus, have given me a free license and I want to pass it on to you. So stay tuned for after the show, I'll tell you how you can win this free application. Now on with the show. So the other day, Los was like, yo, you got Cactus? I'm like, huh? He goes, yo, get Cactus, do codes. I'm like, all right. So what is Cactus? Cactus describes itself as a better workflow for hand coding websites. What it is is a really small and simple Mac application that creates a sort of an all-in-one development environment for making static websites. So in order to understand like what Cactus is and, and what makes it a little bit different, you have to understand what Sofa is. So let me show you a Sofa. Sofa is a company that was around from 2006 to 2011, and they made really, like, really good-looking Mac Macintosh apps, and they were eventually bought by Facebook in 2011. So it's been a few years now. The guys who were in Sofa have left Facebook and started making apps again, and Cactus is one of their first um, "Hello's We're Making Apps Again" kind of releases. I've already downloaded Cactus. Let me pull up. My trial okay now you can see right away that cactus is a beautiful beautiful app now everything that sofa made was dripping with style and cactus really is no exception uh, it's really beautiful it's the one of the best Mac apps that has applied that iOS 7 kind of look and feel everything down from like the stylish like the hairline icons down to the borderless buttons here. It looks very cool, very sexy. So the idea behind Cactus is it's this one-stop shop for these uh, small web projects. You start with a template that Cactus has. I'll just throw this on my desktop. Um, so each project is in its own little site here. It's well organized and everything's right there for you. So let me open it up in my editor, which is cool. They know what my editor is and they have it kind of ready for me. Cactus also sets up a really quick server. So notice that my port is on 8966, so localhost 8966. What's cool about having Cactus run a local server environment is that any device that's on my Wi-Fi can pull up the website and I can test for responsiveness right here. And so that's a nice feature right out of the box. At its heart, Cactus is a static site generator which means that at the end of the day, it's gonna give you raw HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files as the, as the final output, as opposed to something like WordPress, which is PHP-based, which you need a server to interpret and rendered by the server at every request of the user. A static site generator will pre-render all of the HTML pages of the website, so they're fetching and serving just static HTML files, which is a lot quicker. Now the templates that are used to generate these static sites are built on a templating language called Django. The templating language in Django is Python based, so it's really well documented and has a pretty good support community. So if you have those questions on how to use it and how to get what you want done inside of it, it's going to be pretty easy to find those answers, and so that's really nice as well. I'm looking through these template pages that are prepackaged with a cactus project. And I'm noticing that there's a lot of nice treats in here, like 404 error pages, and jQuery is included right from the get-go. Also included in cactus is a live reload feature for your open browser. So right here, I'm gonna go into the CSS and change my body background color to red, and I'm gonna see that it will the change will take place automatically without me having to switch to the browser and hit reload. That's a really nice time-saving feature that I absolutely love. In fact, I can't work without it anymore. Cactus also does a fair bit of pre-processing with both SAS and CoffeeScript, and it's really easy to do. I just run into my CSS folder, start a new file, I'm gonna call it sass.sass, and then I'll say body background pink. And immediately when I save, my SAS is rendered into vanilla CSS. Just like that. I want to take a little bit to show you these other templates here. I'm going to create a, a default template. Nice site, that's cool. And uh, this, is the, this is what the default template looks like. Here is a blog template. And the hyperlinks all link through to each other and these 
these templates are really, really nice, really clean and easy to hop around for a blog. And lastly, here's a portfolio template. Clean and simple. I like, I really like this. I think this is, I think Cactus is a pretty great tool for anybody who wants to whip up a really quick uh, static HTML site. The app is really simple and easy to use. The code is nice and organized and well supported and the templates are frankly beautiful. Now I do have a few reservations with Cactus. The simplicity of it, which I like, sometimes gets in the way of the functionality. For example, if I'm back in my SAS file and I make a mistake, like I remove this space right here and save, instead of getting an error like a good preprocessor would let me know uh, where the error was, what line and why, um, Cactus will just not do it. It'll just not pre-process my file and I end up with a blank file and I never know why. So that's kind of annoying. The other thing that kind of gets at me is that Cactus is so simple and optimized that it, it's really prescriptive of how you code and output your sites. So for example, when I want to deploy my site to a server, instead of just giving me the option to FTP or um, SSH into any server, it really wants me to uh, deploy straight to Amazon S3 servers, which if that's what you're doing, if that's your plan in the beginning, that's really cool. That's a really nice flow. You just put your access key and your bucket name and you're, you're hosted on Amazon. That's really quite nice. But if that's not what you're doing and that's not what I'm doing, it can get in the way and it's just, it's just really like, I feel like I'm on a freeway that goes straight to Amazon and I totally want to get off at mywebsite.com exit for you know a, a, a bucket of chicken and uh, some root beer. I think other than those two things, it's a really cool uh, little tool. And for people who want to use uh, Amazon to host their site once it's created and want to have a really quick and beautiful template already done for them or, or at least a really good starting point with the default templates, I think I think Cactus is a really good a really good tool for them. If you've tried Cactus and you have other opinions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you want to know a little bit more about the other tools that I use in my, in my everyday workflow, leave uh, comments or questions. I'll be sure to answer those in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to talk to you about it soon. Hey, thanks for watching that episode. I think that you will like Cactus just as much as I did. So here's how you can have it for free. Just leave a comment down below about the project that you're gonna do first with Cactus. The best one wins, whether it's original, personal, it's funny, or whatever. I'm just gonna choose them later on this week and I'll send you a license for Cactus. For those of you who don't win, there's a link down in the description below to Cactus's website where you can download a seven day trial and try it out for yourself. Good luck everyone and keep hacking.